Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchelik and in this video I'll be going over importing and exporting strip and report layouts. This is great for situations where you've opened up a schedule that doesn't have a specific report or strip layout that you've used in another schedule. And what you're able to do is export for the, from the one schedule and import it into the schedule you're currently working on. Let me show you how to do that. Now we've covered this functionality in parts of other tutorials, but since we've gotten some questions about this lately, I thought I'd focus on just this functionality. And as you can see here, we've got our schedule open, and I've realized that uh, although this layout is modifiable, I've already created a custom layout in another schedule that I just want to bring in here and use that same layout. I did a lot of work on it, and I want the information displayed in that way. So to do that, it's very simple. All I have to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this schedule. I'm going to go up to File, Close Schedule. And I'm going to open that old schedule that has the custom layout. And since I opened it recently, it's down here in my recent schedules. Here's old schedule. And with that schedule open, I'm going to go up to Design, Strip Layouts, and I'm going to select the layout that I've customized. So it's down here, the Steve's Custom Layout. So with that layout uh, selected, I'm going to hit the Export Strip Layouts button. Now, notice it says Layouts. You can actually highlight more than one layout. If I hold down Shift and select a bunch of layouts, I can do more than one at the same time. But I'm just going to select this one, click the Export Strip Layouts button, and it's going to come up with a dialog of where do you want to save it. Uh, now, it's usually good to maybe save them to a folder where you've got a bunch of custom layouts. That way you don't have to open up a file every time. You can just have them stored in one folder. But for this example, I'm just going to save it to the desktop. And with that location selected, I'm going to hit Save. And that's it. It's exported. So I can go ahead and close this schedule. I'm going to go up to File, Close Schedule, and reopen the original schedule I was working on which is this schedule here and so with this schedule open I'm going to go up to design strip layouts so about the same workflow and I'm, but I'm this time I'm going to hit import strip layout and it's already got the desktop selected and here's that custom strip layout that I've exported so I just select that and click import and in my list here now I have the Steve's custom strip layout that I've ex that I've just brought in. So I can make it active from here or you can switch to it on the strip board. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And if I go to the strip board, here's my new layout. And it's different from the one I was previously using which was horizontal C. So as you can see, it's the same information, everything is laid out the same, but I've got this different layout. Now this also works exactly the same for um, report layouts. If I go up to design report layouts, it's the same workflow. You highlight the layouts that you want to export, you click the export button, or you import ones that you've already exported. So with that, not only can you exchange layouts with yourself, but you can also share them with other users. Now, are there any topics that you want covered in these tips and tricks, or do you just have any feedback on the application? You can send that to productfeedback at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to check out entertainmentpartners.com for all our products and services. And while you're there, you can check out the community page where you can find ways to follow us on Twitter, friend us on Facebook, or subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.